Welcome back, gamers. We hope you enjoyed your break and we know you are ready for map numero dos. We are going over to Ascent. And uh, what can we expect after our first map here? To be very impressed by the level of Valorant that we're seeing from the strategies, from just also just like <laughs> watching some fun moments. There were a few things that happened in that first game, like the satchel charge where three people got to peek off of the single satchel charge, where I'm just like, nice, this is top tier Valorant. This is the moment that I've been waiting for. The Noya lurks. Oh, oh yeah, give me these Zippo replays. We love it. The Noya lurks, the Sarah slicing the cake there perfectly. I, I think the raises both played the role. Like the double satchels were on point. We talked about how Infiltrator was just like double satchel into the site. Easy peasy, no problem. Um, and and just the sheer aggression also of Shopify Rebellion to want to aggress onto uh, a cipher, right? I was like, whoa, that's, mm -hmm. that's insane. But we do have to have a winner. And Winthrop was it. They were able to really aggress on the attack. You see they had 14 eliminations time after time on their attack. They were making sure that they were getting the first bloods before aggressing onto a site, which was golden for them. Yeah, they did do a really, really good job. As you mentioned, aggression was kind of the name of the game for them, as well as just being able to read exactly where Shopify Rebellion were going to be holding. And that's one of the downsides to being one of these teams that has been together for a long time, where you can see uh, what other tournaments they've played recently. It means that your opponent can kind of read into exactly how you've played a lot of matches recently and be able to kind of exploit those where they're able to. So getting a peek at Infiltrator, who is MVP for the side of Winthrop University. I mean, I see it. I was a little bit of a non-believer at the start of the match. I said I outed myself, and uh, now I'm a believer. I've made the conversion. I'm, I'm a believer, believer in Infiltrator. Infiltrating you believe in. Got it. Mm -hmm. Carry it. Um, but, okay, map number two is going to be our Ascent, right? And we know that I both teams actually have played quite a lot of Ascent, but Ascent was chosen by Shopify Rebellion. And they have played Ascent three times throughout this tournament, every single time being victorious. But you made a good point. What was your point, Becky? I was just like, Ascent is Ascent. It's the one that everyone plays a ton of. It maybe isn't going to be the most... Uh, it just feels like it's not a map pick that you pick for comfort. Well, I mean, it is for comfort, but it's comfortable for everybody. And that's kind of the problem. Uh, and usually people, if they like don't feel as comfortable on it or feel like they feel as comfortable as everyone else and their mother who's continued to play <laughs> Ascent since the dawn of time, uh, will just ban it. But that's not what happened. And so it feels a little bit like an anticlimactic second pick. But I'm really hoping that if Shopify Rebellion have a plan and really do feel that comfortable on it, that it will end up being what they need here. But Winthrop, after I saw how they played that first one, I already said that I draw a lot of parallels between Sunset and Ascent. Mm -hmm. And I think I would be a little bit worried uh, for Shopify Rebellion going into Ascent here. Yeah, I think that we need to really take control of mid, I think, or, or like make sure that you're not giving up that first blood. But also like mid control is just as important in Ascent as it is in Sunset, right? Making sure that you're not allowing your uh, opponents to have the the momentum in their favor to be setting the pace. Uh, they have also, when I'm talking about they, I'm talking about Winthrop, they have also played Ascent three times throughout this tournament as well. And they have, I feel like it's been kind of up and down for them. Um, the last time that they played this one, they actually struggled a little bit and it was again, Am Ambrosia. Um, they went one and 11 on attack. So I don't know what that was about. And it's kind of scary to know like, you allowed a map to go through that you kind of didn't do so well on your last series, which kind of made you go into those best of three, which made you play more. We're also kind of heading towards the end of the day. So how is that all 
do you think going to play a role into going into it? Do you think that's going to be like, oh, we're scared? And or you think that they have enough confidence off of the first map going into the second? Yeah, I'm not really sure how to to feel about it. I think you got to be feeling pretty confident after that last one. And so I think they are going to be carrying that over. Uh, I'm surprised to hear that they went 1 in 11 on attack after seeing just how their attacking side went on that previous one. But maybe maybe coming off of a really kind of I wouldn't say dominant, but I also wouldn't say a super close match in the mm -hmm. one prior. Like I think the moment that they got onto attack, the game kind of just fell into their not fell into their pocket. They looked very strong in attack, so I am surprised to hear that they fumbled a little bit on attack previously. But that could be for a lot of other reasons as far as opponents are based, and maybe that's mm -hmm. not going to be the case for them against Shopify Rebellion. But once again, Shopify Rebellion is my pick, something that they feel very comfortable on, and maybe that does mean that this is going to be a place where they are going to flourish. But as far as agents are concerned, going into this map, I feel like we're likely going to see some pretty uh, tried and true things as far as Shopify Shopify Rebellion is concerned. Yep. And I am a little bit surprised that we're seeing Gucci go ahead and lock in this Sage. I feel like that's the only thing that's kind of making me perk my ears up in this situation mm -hmm. here. But you mentioned that you wanted to see a KO and you also said that Shopify Rebellion <laughs> typically does use the KO on Ascent. So that is going to be something that is the pickup. And it looks like Winthrop University didn't want to see a KO. So they went with the <laughs> Sage instead, starting on the defensive side. Oh my, this is giving me like... OG vibes, OG throwback Valorant, where like you only had like five agents unlocked and you had to go. I don't think KJ was a part of those agents, but you had like the Sage, the Soba and the Jet. Like those are the three core that Valorant started with, with, with like Brimstone and who was the Sentinel? I think there was another Sentinel besides Cypher? Sage. Was it Cypher? Is, was Cypher one of the OGs? I can't recall. But the point is, this is giving me throwback vibes. Uh, I'm really excited to see if this is going to be like a battle Sage. Do you remember those like uh, TikTok <laughs> walls that everyone's always complaining about? I, I want to see what we're going to be brought out here with uh, the Sage. Is it just going to be making sure that this mid is under control? Uh, I think it's going to be more of a, hey, I'm going to rotate over my squad because the aggression is on the way onto this A site. A quick rush to pick up the orb, but then a really quiet retreat. Yeah, I think if I had to guess what this Sage is going to be is, I think it's just a we're starting on defensive side and we're going to try and have as good of a defensive start as possible. And that just means picking up two uh, controllers, which I think is especially a good pick when you have already taken down the first game in this series, just trying to make sure that you're eking out as much value as you possibly can, including an agent select, especially if you have a player who's comfortable on something like the Sage too. Yeah, I'm really liking the fact that... Oh, okay! Quick blind and a quick peek off as we see Shop of Our Rebellion scurry their way into this B-side. The door just closed at their face. So, nope, you're Whoa. not coming in here. There is no way. Although, Gucci kind of fortifying themselves on the site by then Lonesome Cell, forcing them to take the lane left. fight. Darts yeah, this to is do some interesting damage. too, because I'm not yeah. sure if you can uh, jump onto that wall or I'm not, and it looks like we're never, we may not find out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is a weird position to be in. Um, at least we get one for trouble. Smell going down. No more smokes for Here. Shopify Rebellion. Now this being a four B three, one boathouse, one oh. stuck in triple. And when I say stuck, um, I don't know how stuck Alexis is. Okay, finally going down and the remaining do as quickly. Jerk able to get the defusal. Yeah, that was an interesting uh, CT wall there or, or stair wall there. Hey, I mean, Winthrop won the round, so maybe I know nothing. The wall <laughs> ended up being absolutely instrumental. But uh, Shopify, yeah, an unfortunate situation, I think, for Fluorescent in particular, just not being able to really isolate one of those players and kind of just stuck as a as a little sitting duck in that corner, not able to do too much until being swung on by two players from Winthrop University. So mostly a good aggression. I think it just got a little bit dismantled the moment that we got to see a lot of those uh, defensive players be put in a place where Shopify just couldn't follow up on a lot of things that uh, future oh, players had done. Down a. Well, 
Winthrop wow. is doing a phenomenal job at really peeking off each other's utility. The timing yeah. is immaculate. Just as soon as we see a blind, there is that peek off once again. And here, you, you're going to see it again. Nazi connecting with three. Gucci's like, I got you, but we, me, you, we are doing the thing. And that is a three game Indeed, here. yeah. <laughs> I, I also was going to say that we've already kind of picked up oh, on the down. fact that Shopify Rebellion tried to get that ultimate orb. Like, mm -hmm. I love that immediately after that first round that we heard Shopify Rebellion do that, Winthrop was like, all right, we're going to be aggressive out here. We're going to see if we can use our utility all together. And we're going to take advantage of the fact that we're pretty sure you tried to do this every single time. And mm -hmm. I mean, despite the fact that there was a big weapon disadvantage, it also went off without a hitch. So now Shopify Rebellion, after those first two rounds, are going to be able to to get a little bit of weaponry and we'll see if that means they're going to continue to try and go for this ultimate orb or if we're going to now try and catch players from Winthrop trying to do that same thing over again but that kind of combo of the slow orb and the omen peek out does seem really kind of really difficult idiot. to handle mm -hmm. hmm okay Shop of is like, okay, we're not gonna get the orb. Hey, main, let's explore. Let's see what we got in mid. Oh. Still though, Mel catches a little oh, bit now. of Gucci over onto the A site. So instead, we're gonna try a split push onto this A. This Sage wall, though, creating another obstacle for the time being. Nay to zone off oh. three player, but still on top of the wall. Gucci able to reclaim one. Floor goes down. The rest of the teammates will make it onto the site, but not for long. The spike being zoned out by Moobs, leaving Infiltrator and Jerk the last two remaining of the squad. And of course, why wouldn't you be suspecting that Noya is lurking about mid, still waiting for the rest of the rotations to come through? Jerk taking the safe way onto the retake, <laughs> going the long way. Hey, you got time. I think that this is going to be a situation where Jerk kind of just holds out and waits to take somebody out uh, after the spike has gone off. I don't imagine that we're going to try and take this 1v3 with the Stinger, but I could be wrong. One enemy remains. Does, in fact, go for the peak and actually takes down Mel and Alexis? Placing Ooh. Swarm Grenade. Swarm Grenade out. Okay. All right, the Stinger is different. I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't do that for me, but... Oh, can it do it for Jerk here as the time's ticking? I think there's enough. Actually, you know, I can't be certain here. Okay, for sure, with that Molly, there is no time. Oh, but the pick's gonna come through. That's every player of Shopify Rebellion down. And that means that the economy for Shopify Rebellion is not gonna be looking good. Wow. I mean, what a great round as far as Winthrop University is concerned. Like, the only way that could have gone better is if that Stinger had been able to find one more pick there on Tenoya. We take the dubs where we can get them. With that round, Lexus has nullification in the bag. And we're slowly but surely working our way towards a lockdown as well. Yeah, off of that last plant, we were also able to get that null off of on Alexis as well. So that should be pretty big in them Take flight. being able to get onto a site pretty safely, especially if they do decide that they want to go onto that B site where this Killjoy is kind of reigning supreme. Gonna be able to push forward and with the power of friendship <laughs> between Floor and Sarah be able to take Infiltrator off the map and pop this Nulfmate. Oh my, flashing out oh, straight oh. into the hands of two of the Shopify Rebellion oh. players. Still remaining on the side is Nazi, who's trying to say, please no, not into my sight. <laughs> Eventually goes down and once again, moves and jerk, trying to retake together, but it's a four. Two players of Shopify Rebellion, though very low on health. Still the spike has not been planted. And as I say that, it does go through. Jerk last remaining, knows one's main, needs to figure out where the last Sarah finds. And now it's a 1v1. Whoa! You zoom in, scope in, and get the last elimination. Jerk different. I, I, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, I'm out of words. <laughs> I can't even say. I'm just like, yeah. Like, the fact that you literally have so much trigger Get control to go, Sarah Mel. Sarah Mel. Yeah, on point. I mean, that's a situation where if you're Shopify Rebellion too, you're like, oh, we could have been like moving our locations. We could have been like that is a point where if somebody is able to like make those peaks repeatedly and be able to make those isolations, then it's like it's like oh, you watch the VOD afterwards yeah. and you're like, oh, maybe some of our locations right should have been moving. But it's also hard because you are trying to do that like little high low situation where you're mm -hmm. trying to make sure that you're <gasps> able to get those off quickly moves. Going with the Odin through the wall, but actually is going to be the one to take the most damage there, thankfully. Gucci's I gonna make a sprint towards the oh side. My jerk, jerk, ah. jerk! Yes, oh please go for it. Right click. No, okay. At least moves got it. I was gonna say good for Shopify Rebellion. The fact that they stopped the Odin from just spamming them, like they didn't allow the disrespect. They were gonna go for it. They unfortunately went for it into the hands of Jerk unfortunate situation but at least you let moobs know that like no you're not going to do that to us uh unfortunately we've now got to say the same thing to jerk uh mm -hmm. who is on an absolute tear is nine and one and Here. yeah uh, that was a rough place to be not expecting after all of, of those way. other players that we saw on that site that there would also be Oh, Jerk there. Jerk is everywhere. Jerk is in mid. Jerk is in B garage. I, I think is. we can say that about Winthrop. Winthrop has the knowledge. They know exactly where to hold, when to hold, how to hold it, when to aggress, just like we see Infiltrator do. They, they're they just feeling it. They really are. And every time you keep saying Jerk's name, I can't stop but think of the song. <laughs> If you know, you I, know. <laughs> I also just keep thinking of, like, I don't want to, like, make a joke about being like, yeah, jerks being a jerk. But I feel like that's low-hanging fruit. <laughs> but at 10 and 1, you're certainly doing a whole lot for your team here. Has locked down a lot of ultimates ready for the side of Winthrop. And with that, Shopify Rebellion are going to be calling this a time out. And this is a place where I feel like uh, Shopify Rebellion, thankfully, is making this time out relatively early, so is going to hopefully be able to get a little bit of action back onto their side of the board. They are going to have a little bit of a broken buy all over the board here, mm. and probably just at this point trying to make the most out of the ultimates that they have ready to go, but this is one of those unfortunate situations where lockdowns are ready for both sides, but Hunter Fury, Hunter's Furies, Hunter's Furies? Hunter Furies? Hunter's Furies? That's a hard one. That's a hard one. Plurals are hard. Anyway, <laughs> they're ready for both sides, and those are typically considered counters to one another. So which one do you decide to use first? And just, like, making sure that you understand and are uh, all on the same page going into this one. But something that I feel like you don't always highlight because there aren't sages very often anymore there is a resurrection ready from gucci 07 as well so that's going to be quite a bit to have to work through for the side of oh, but no, this yeah. oh, okay no, yeah. a nice place unfortunately that two for one almost looking so so clean is going to end up kind of being a one for one as that resurrection that i mentioned quickly gets popped and jerk with the odin Connecting. Okay, now that now the jerk has a note, and I will say the jerk is being a jerk. Okay, that's easy. One. That's that's what it took. It was the Odin. Oh, wait, but I love the <gasps> space that Floor. Floor has captured. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. They're not gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They the don't patient. know. Yeah. <laughs> and with that, a three K now leaving your favorite player, jerk, going down to Sarah with a sheriff. And the jerk might be my favorite player at the end of yeah. this. Okay. <laughs> I mean, rightly so. 11-2 as a Killjoy, just doing Killjoy things, even though you got a, you technically, quote-unquote, got a nerf. I was going to say, Killjoy's not good. Swear. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently not on Jerk. No. Uh, Fluorescent, though, able to make some nice plays in that one. A good placement of players. Like, honestly, Noya 
being able to take out two at the start of that one, being able to prompt out that resurrection so it's off the table for a little while, actually pretty big that they were able to still get that win. No other ultimates were used. You maybe would have liked to get one or two more, but beggars can't be choosers. We'll take a round back into our favor. So very nice after that timeout to be able to do some good things for the side of Shopify Rebellion and uh, pushing Infiltrator off of that little roost there. They... Forcing Infiltrator off of the tree has now given them so much mid control if they really wanted to. But instead, Shopify Rebellion is playing things a little slower with the use and the spacing that Mal has gathered onto the safe site. It is looking like it's going to end up being this A hit. But I believe they still have the knowledge that Killjoy is still around. That's why we see Mal lining up this blind that's going to eventually connect. But it's just the timing. They're patiently waiting to see the Soba lineup. And the flash, that's a double flash going into tree. Can they find Jerk? Nope, Jerk has given up the space. Also from the shadows, going oh. into the back of sight, canceled off of the Gecko oh. and Infiltrator, being oh. able to pick off of Heaven, brings out the Blade Storm, catches Sarah, getting off of the site. No one's aware just exactly what Infiltrator is. Infiltrator is getting oh. assisted by the wow. down. Did you know you could get an assist with the lockdown? Because the lockdown was basically just aiding Infiltrator to get those eliminations. Wow. I mean... I've never wanted to ask for a replay so much in my life. <laughs> um, <laughs> Please. But Infiltrator coming out with that ace. I, I, honestly, with the first two, I was just like, thank you. Oh my gosh, Pog that production. One that one that we picked up onto Sarah, the quick pull out of the operator and getting a collat there. Honestly, I'm just in awe of the quickness with which weapons were shifted between mm -hmm. the blades and mm -hmm. the operator and back and forth. And I mean, I guess that's why you pop the blades while you have the operator is to be able to do that so quickly and infiltrator very nicely done in that last round. That was second nature. Those are spidey senses. Though, there is always some sort of weakness to Spider-Man based on all the different movies that oh. we have seen. Um, so, what will Shopify Rebellion come up with here? We have three weapons in the hands of the leaders. I have this. So, fight. more so working towards eliminating some of the utility that's been set up by Shopify. Drone gathering just a tad bit information. Flashpoint to get rid of any KJ utility if there. And now, of a lot of space captured here towards mid for Shopify Rebellion. They are gonna go into the hands of Infiltrator, who cannot pull the Operator out quick enough this time around. The spike making its way onto site, but they have to worry about Nazi, who is in the back of site. And you talked about it, a lockdown for a Hunter's Fury. But we also have brought out another Hunter's Fury into the mix. Nazi. Spike down. Gucci holding on to market that catches the spike holder for the time being. Odin spamming away. 13, 10 seconds remaining on the board. They need to grab the spike and they need to go plant with the time dwindling. Can they do it? Fall floor just says, I don't think we need to plant. I'll just get the elimination. Yeah, I was about to say Gucci is feeling Gucci after those two picks, but unfortunately not going to be feeling as Gucci when Fluorescent has that operator in hand, doesn't keep a hold of it going into this next round, instead just opts to go back onto those Vandals, which I think says a lot about how Shopify Rebellion wants to handle these attacking rounds, not trying to go for as many of those long range fights and is really just trying to prioritize being a little bit more scrappy uh, as scrappy as you can consider a jet to be anyway. Deploying drone. And drone is going to start off gathering a bit of information and is going to be able to sniff out that infiltrator operator in hand, hanging out towards mid along with that killjoy. Two players in mid has got to give you uh, a little bit of concern. This is a lot really... of power. Yeah. This is a really good adaptation here for Shopify Rebellion. Uh, or, yes, for Shopify Rebellion. Because now they're aggressing onto the site where the Killjoy is no longer. Though, they have to be very careful. We know that Gucci's just been aggressive time after time. We do get a bait out oh, from Nazi with the fake teleport. Baited. 
Uh, finally, though, Floor does get the trade off, but Winthrop is already there, already waiting for the hit to happen. And I think this is where Shopify Rebellion is just getting caught up a little bit too much, where they're not really capitalizing on the space they're taking or the picks they are getting. So, 30 now, seconds left. They kind of got to wait. We're waiting for this lineup, and I'm pretty sure they're waiting for the time to dwindle, see if they can fake out some rotations. Yeah, this is an interesting decision, finally. Spot Jerk is going to be able to catch one. That Tunnel is going to give over a bit of information, but not enough. We still don't know where Jerk is between Jerk and Moobs. There's just not a chance to take down and take on that site. A lot of waiting. You said worrying about capitalizing the moment that we're able to grab those picks. I think they really were hoping that Winthrop University just thought that they rotated. And I don't know if it's because we so quickly were able to get people onto site and we just didn't hear... Uh, didn't hear any footsteps, but something had Winthrop being like, no, nah, I'm pretty sure you're still going to come to this A site, or at least we're not going to go ahead and make any of these movements. And it ended up working out swimmingly for them as we have a little bit of a technical pause here. I think that what would have worked out for them would have been them making some sort of like destruction towards B, maybe throw out some utility. Like we didn't see any of that happen. That was just like, we're going to cut noise and then we're going to rehit. And it's like, I like the idea. In theory, yes, curiosity does uh, sometimes eliminate the cat. Um, but it's like, you got to give it something to be like, ooh, maybe there is something over there. Maybe there is uh, something that piques my interest. And I d don't think they did that enough. Um, I also feel like the adaptations and just the sheer aggression that Winthrop is showing is scaring Shopify Rebellion. Like, they don't look as confident as they did even in the prior map. They just look like they're falling too much to the play style of Winthrop. Yeah, I was going to say, it's also one of those situations where on that previous round, we saw Sarah go ahead and use the Owl Drone, saw two players in mid, and it's one of those places where you see those two players in mid, you assume, oh, it's much easier for them to go back on to B, and that's kind of where I would expect them to go, especially considering that we've seen the Sage and Omen over towards A. We've already spotted them over there. And instead of Winthrop playing how you would expect and going to B, they kind of immediately were like, okay, well, some people saw Omen and Sage. We've maybe lost one of them already. Let's go ahead and just quickly move over onto that A site and kind of anticipate that game play and that kind of pattern. And it worked out really well for them. They are just kind of reading into the patterns that they're able to see from Shopify Rebellion. And it's working out very well for them. Yeah. I I do like when Shopify Rebellion uses more of that mid control. I think being able to capitalize the mid control and then pouring into the B site has worked really well for them. Although we did see the quick adaptation by Winthrop by rotating the KJ instead of having the Sage there. Um, but hey, they are doing, they did this really well with on Sunset, which was get rid of utility before fully committing. So maybe they can start doing that. Um, also for all of you guys at home, they're like casters, start, stop talking, start match. Uh, we are having some mouse issues, so we're sorry. We are going to get this on the road pretty quickly. I know you guys are excited to see and cheer on your teams. Um, once again, we appreciate you, and uh, we hope you are enjoying your... Today's Thursday, right? Today's Thursday. It does okay. not feel like a Thursday. It does not, no. It does not, but there you go. There, you You're welcome, chat. I started the game for you. <laughs> Started the game, and it's once again this patented little slow orb peek on to this entry onto A. That flash is going to force Gucci 07 back and looks like potentially prompt this wall to be popped, but very patient from Gucci here. And Floor is going to have the knives ready to go here. Two hero vandals in the hands of Sarah and Noya as well. Noya just keeping presence onto that BME, not quite oh. aggressing, not quite capturing, just being. Being a body, being some ears, listening out to see what, who, where, potentially hoping that there's some aggression. But Winthrop's like, no, we know that you have to hit a site. We know that you have to plant the spike. We're just chilling. 
Yeah, I like being able to play this safe. Once again, I think it is uh, falling back onto they won the first match. They're already ahead in this half. They know that they've secured themselves left. a more than even half. So they're kind of, yeah, once again, just saying yeah. it's your move. Yeah, and the move was to take over Tree, but so much utility already being thrown. Although this is where we want to go. So Sh Shop of I Rebellion with Ten little to no times left three. on the board. They need Ten to hit the site. Bladestorm's in hand. Okay. Oh, connection by floor, but not enough of those blades to hit every Last one of the Winthrop the gamers. Still we remaining 8-3. Last round. This is for an 8-4 half. Oh, and a <sighs> resurrection at the ready for Gucci. Yeah, this is one of those situations where I feel like the do or the sentinel on either side is kind of just working wonders for Winthrop. Mm -hmm. They're able to securely hold it down both of these sites and jerk oh, hand moves you. this time oh, around. Oh, Odin's oh, in oh, hand. Oh, Recon oh, bolt. Oh, Quickly oh my goodness. going to shut down Alexis. Thankfully, a chance for resurrection is going to be available there, but not able to help out Floor. Aggressive onto the site, but not quite going to be able to do too much as the resurrection does come through. And now these owl drones can be the next into the fray. Here. I can't help but be like, hee hee, you're missing because we have like that third POV. Um, <laughs> so it's like you're just like a smidge off. Uh, well, oh, moves finally collecting something with, I believe, was the bolt. Yeah, shock the bolt. shock dart coming through. Oh, an unfortunate place. And it looks like Shop of Our Rebellion. Gonna see if we can leave Noya here to get a little tricky and have the other players rotate. Nazi, though, also trying to see if we can hang out in an area that lets us get the better of this rotation from the attackers. 30 seconds Nazi left. Nazi has a really nice timing on oh. Mel, who's uh, you no, know, just not looking the right way. So those spike oh. making their way onto this B site with oh. the distraction of Mel on mid. Oh yeah, an optic more nerf aggressive. Where? Yeah. KJ. 10 seconds left. Uh, right now, nowhere. Oh. The timing. Oh, oh, only yeah. one player on site. Operator in the hands of infiltrator Noya. A bucket oh, one. Noya? Close to the second. Oh, this is so scary to try to peek out if you know that that operator is there. Oh, this joust is nuts. Oh. The dash. Moves. It was a valiant really effort from well Noya. It yeah. really, it really was a valiant effort. It's such that a scary scariness. Yeah. yeah. Of like, okay, I have to go against an operator and there's one more remaining. That was really nice. Uh, I did. Nice timing by Moobs to wait for Noya to kind of be the one to make the move and then go for it. Oh, thank you, production. We get a replay here at the half. The last round where Moobs just perfectly timed it. It was like, okay, you want to eliminate my, my jet and I know that I need to eliminate you before you do that, so... Perfectly done. 9 3 at the half. We get a swap here. How do we feel about the Shopify Rebellion team composition going on to this defense? I think it's hard. I think that once again, Winthrop University, I would lean towards they have right a more defensive right team here. composition. And I think that Shopify Rebellions was more attacking sided. So I do have a little bit of concern for them on the defensive side. Especially, uh, once again, calling back to how Winthrop played on the attacking side on Sunset and what they were able to do so far, a trade one for one. But the aggression that we saw from the last round, it is present here as well. And Infiltrator is trying to bring the pain. Okay, I can't help but go hee hee when Alexis went up with uh, Gucci's wall. Oh, yeah. And they kind of looked at each other like, hey. But wait a minute, what are you doing here? <laughs> Share up in hand. One, enemy one of the players Ooh, very whoa. well through the box. Now making Four. this a 1v1. And in doubt, count on floor. Floor, what are we typing in chat? Get yeah, back to we need to know. <laughs> <laughs> I loved oh. when uh, when Gompers was like, floor is flooring. I was like... 
Okay. <laughs> so that's gonna be my go-to now. Uh, what? Okay. I I also <laughs> wish that we could get a little replay of the uh, the wall situation going up, but yeah, Floor very nicely able to squeak that one out. A nice shot through those radiant eye boxes, just saying, "Hey, I know somebody's low. This seems like a place that you might be hiding." I got the sheriff. It packs a little bit of a punch and is in fact able to pack that punch into that round buy up now in the hands of Shopify Rebellion. Going to get a little bit more outlaw action here from Ooh. Fluorescent and the rest of the team just going to kind of hold back. Try and play this defensive game as Mel picks off Nazi to start things off and losing your smokes that early on certainly doesn't feel good. Uh. Also, losing your duelist that quickly, too, is a little bit of a feels bad. You're like, I wanted you to dash onto the site, <laughs> not be eliminated on the entry point, but that's okay. Like we talked about before, tons of wiggle room happening here for Winthrop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're kind of all over the place. And I mean, when you're in a 3v5 and down on weapons, this does kind of make sense for something that you're going to do. Spike down. And so Gucci down. does peek around that corner. Unfortunately, that is a corner that Floor is watching. And now it is a 2v5. It looks like Jerk and Moobs. Last player what a fun last two players to have Oops. remaining. <laughs> And it's just going to be seeing if you can tell where players are playing. Maybe be able to take a weapon out of the hands of Shopify Rebellion, but it does not happen. And Winthrop University are finally going to get a moment in the sun with some vandals in their hands. See what we can make happen. Once again, they did in that first round play as aggressive as I would have anticipated from seeing how they played on Sunset. But I am... Right intrigued uh, right to see just how together they all are, especially going into this round as well. Previously on Sunset, they did kind of have a player who would hang out in a different area, and maybe they're going to wish that that's what they had done. But a two-for-two two trade, the Omens coming out to play here as Mel and Nazi going to be the ones collecting kills in this round. Yeah, you got to remember, only two bullets on the Outlaw. If you can triple swing... You'll be fine. Alexis gathering some damage from, or actually no, no damage yet. But they, it seems like they know exactly where Alexis is. So they are still trying to eliminate Alexis, who's just holding on to the site for the time being. It is down left to Nazi, 10 health and a dream, pinged away by that drone. And uh, Shopify Rebellion cutting the lead one round at a time. Hey, maybe if it's a defensive sided enough map, it doesn't matter what team composition you bring. <laughs> you just, you rack up the points on your defensive side anyway. And maybe, maybe that's what Shopify Rebellion kind of were thinking. Maybe they were going into this and they were like, okay, we got three rounds. That's all good. That's totally fine. That's all we need. And it does look like we are seeing Floor go ahead with that outlaw once again. Full buy-ups for the rest of the team, but Floor maybe saving for something a little spicy down the line. <sighs> uh, oh my! Infiltrator about to go down. Just a little bit off there. That's, that's scary. Honestly, hearing the outlaw, I was like, that is terrifying. I do not like the sound of an outlaw. Kind of sounds like a can. Oh. Um, but Moves is going to be the first one down. One-way smoke doing wonders for Alexis. <gasps> oh. The rush and Mel is there helping out the power of friendship once again. Friends, time after time, it will save you when you are about to get eliminated. A fake teleport. Oh. Nazi loves fake teleports, by the way. That's one thing that I've learned watching Nazi yeah. is that fake teleports are their thing for sure. Sage wall now coming through to help zone out tree. But the heavens above oh, are now trying Nazi? to retake. But it's Nazi looking for the ace. Sheriff in hand needs to reload, but two bullets is enough, right? Hey. Right? Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Gucci! Gucci, I can't believe we do that. Thrifty round, Winthrop, though, as we're praising Shopify Rebellion 
for looking strong on the defensive side. It just took Nazi getting a 4K. Nazi, you just got to do that over and over again. Okay, that's all it's going to take. From the shadows at the ready, a lot of other ultimates on the precipice for the side of Winthrop. Because we've got both from the shadows hanging out. Knives do look like they're going to come out for floor going into this round as buy-ups for the rest of the team are in play. And all of a sudden that save in the outlaw from the round four is looking pretty good for the rest of the team as Mel Operator in hand. That's quite aggressive. Yeah, yeah in Mel and Operator we trust. Yeah. Mel hits those easy. And also, you're talking about uh, Floor just bringing out Blade Storms. Floor is investing big on a future home right there. It's like we <laughs> saw the Outlaw be in their hands, what, for two, three rounds? Mm -hmm. And then after that, now we bring out our ult, which costs I don't even think that we popped the Blade Storm yet. Oh, no, we have. Oh, okay. There it is. How did I miss that? Okay. We were, we were watching someone else, I believe. Um, but there is a lot of space being taken here. My Winthrop on mid, no utility yet, used up by Shopify, just yet. Couple mollies used up on the same seconds main, left. but still no contact whatsoever. Standing ahead. So quiet, so sneaky. 23 Fuck seconds ability. left. They gotta go, they gotta go if they want to plant oh, the spike or oh. go for the eliminations. But it's proven that much harder when you have Sarah and Mel in the back of the site. Odin doing spike bird down, things beat. on the Ten site. Leaving the spike oh, out oh, in no oh, man's land. And Nazi able to eliminate the last. Is gonna have enough time to plant the spike. And now needs to perfectly play this 1v1. Alexis full health. Living the dream. Can they be oh. the first point of contact? Oh, one says, HP? I don't need health. I got this. The headshot from the Vandal versus 35 HP from Nazi. And Nazi walks away at one HP. Winthrop, they're, they're riding high. Their confidence, once again, their ego dial, all the way over. 1,000. Mm-hmm. And yeah, taking a peek at those KDAs, these ultimates that are ready. What is on the horizon? Infiltrator going to be the one Get on the save this time around. And pop in those blades, both Hunter's Furies at the ready. And that could be just the thing that Winthrop need to get themselves onto match point here as a flash pop around that catwalk corner is going to prompt a Hunter's Fury from Sarah, going to try and defuse the situation happening towards mid. And it's a push from Winthrop onto a site. Oh my, that aggression not quite paying out the way that Shopify Rebellion wanted to. Mel gathers himself, goes into safety, but the Infiltrator has seen and will pursue. Oh, Heaven from above, Alexis flashes out of tree, goes straight into the hands of their Whoa. opponents, and a quick round there for Winthrop just to secure their match point. Match point. I mean... Wow. I feel like watching these two teams, I'm just like having wow moments at yeah. every other round. Like, <laughs> and wow moments at every other player, which uh, is something that is kind of cool to see. Like, I've had a wow moment for Floor, I've had a wow moment for Noya, for Nazi, for oh, Ibito, for Jerk. Like, and now with Winthrop at match point, hoping to bring it home. They held on to the Hunter's Fury, they're popping it right now. And Moose wow. is going to try and bring it all home right here, right now, along with Infiltrator. But so far, it's just a one-for-one one trade. Yeah, good grenade there by Alexis to zone out the aggression and make sure that nobody else goes onto the site. Movement bots now going to give the information that no, that Jerk is lurking around mid. And Mal clears that up just as quickly. Oh, Noya, able to gather that elimination floor. Cover going not allowing for the switch door to come Drop close. 
And now the spike does eventually settle onto this B site. It's gonna be a three for three. Oh, make that a three for two. Wait, resurrection okay. comes out. Numbers back and forth. Still a three v three. Full health on each one of these players. Aggressive peak off lane, but it's gonna be Floor trying to retake from stairs with the smoke. Meanwhile, Mel and Alexis go down the double swing dash to make sure that safety from lane is in Floor's possession. Needs to get a 1v1 five bullets. Five bullets. Needs one, Ooh. finds two. Who cares? Doesn't matter how many are left in the chamber. Set of ones, I'll say it again. In Floor, we trust. Clutch. I mean, I was just talking about wow moments. Uh, That's a wow moment? Okay, we know the drill. That's a, I, that's a like, if I'm... I'm watching, I'm sitting here, I'm like, you only have five bullets, you just dashed into this corner. I would have thought that you dashed in this corner to have a like safe place to reload, but Floor, you, like, accurately being like, if I go for this reload, they're gonna hear it. I'm gonna get shot through this wall. So just saying, you know what? Five bullets in a dream. And boy, are we dreamers here. <laughs> wow. We are fighting tooth and nail. Shopify Rebellion, they can't have a bad round, Becky. They must be perfect. Yeah, Perfection. that's kind of the scary part at this point on. Like, Floor is turning it on. Can Floor keep it at this level? Well, Every single one of these rounds. Player. On to Juri. Oh. Gucci remains on top. Sage supremacy happening here for Winthrop as they get a hold. Wait. Uh, mm, mistakes were made? Or was that intentional? I would guess intentional. I mean, Shopify sure thinks that they're over there, but that owl drone maybe would have figured out that there's no sound happening there, but it looks like Shopify are still running over towards that side of the map, and it looks like Winthrop are just going to be like, well, now we can tell that this Killjoy utility certainly isn't active and you're nowhere home. So, B-side it is. Cover going out. Hmm. All right, B-side it is. Spike's going down. That's going to give the notification to the last two remaining, Sarah and Noya. Oh, that hurts Paint a little away. bit. Yeah, Sarah gets captured. We do already see a flank from Noya, and uh, I feel like Noya's playstyle has been read oh, this once or be, twice, yeah. so Nazi's like, no, you will not. We will yep. not. It's not a thing. But at least there is oh, one oh, placement. One. Moves! <gasps> what? Looks to eliminate the recon bolt. Instead, gets eliminated themselves. A teleport for Nazi. Oh, Sarah. There is that doubt here time. for Sarah. Oh. And Nazi is going to be the one to clutch it out for Winthrop. That is a 2-0 oh on the series. Winthrop, the college team, makes it past one of the best teams here. Uh, Becky, you, you said it. Everybody had a shining moment. Yeah, we really did get to see a ton of really cool plays from both sides in all of those games, as we're going to see from these replays. And I think... One enemy remaining. At, at the end of it all, looking at how Winthrop played so many of these rounds, just these like kind of micro synergies, just these little areas where they played together in a way that you maybe like aren't anticipating so much, like you're not as used to seeing. So little things like I feel like that slow or playing with the omen, like you're kind of used to that. But they just like played it and kept being like, well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If we keep getting picks, we're going to keep doing it. Nazi being able to pick up that Noya is going to go for a lot of those flanks and just being able to read into a lot of those plays, I think kind of shows where Winthrop was able to kind of read Shopify Rebellion and bring this one home. Yeah, and even just looking at this, yes, we see the first bloods, but also looking at the post plant successful rate being on the side of Winthrop, they were able to plant and make sure that they kept their numbers. Whereas Shopify Rebellion, it almost became too hard to plant the bomb at some point for them, I feel like. And yeah. they weren't adapting as much to the defense of Winthrop, which allowed them to really come on top. Uh, I mean, Nazi being the the 
MVP for this map is insane because I feel like you hardly ever see a controller be MVP. <laughs> um, so it's, it feels really good as an Omen main. Thank it also nice. feel, feels really good when at the start of the series, I gassed up a player and it shows up as MVP in this match. I mean, I also like have to shout out the fact that there were two clutches in the whole game for the side of Shopify Rebellion. And both of those were absolutely nuts plays from Fluorescent. So like, Floor is walking away from this with some sweet clips. Yeah. <laughs> and they, certainly they, looking very impressive. I'm just excited. I'm excited. I don't believe that they are eliminated. I believe we do have the lower a bracket as well, so they're, they're still fighting for their chance to remain in this tournament. But I, I think both teams did phenomenal. Obviously, Winthrop is a team, like you stated before, the fact that we're saying college and gaming in the same sentence, still mind-blowing. The fact that we are al not, I shouldn't say allowing, but the fact that we are encouraging that and seeing a future shows that if you can believe, man, you can achieve. Sounds kind of cliche, but it definitely is a thing. Um, I'm just, I'm excited. We have, what, two more days of this? One more day of this? So I am, I, I we have so many good players. Yeah, two more days of challengers are going to be coming your way. We don't have a bracket for you. If you are interested in seeing it, go ahead and do exclamation point bracket in the chat. I'm absolutely stoked for more Valorant to come around the corner. Even just watching this match that is a college team and a GC team and seeing what people are coming to this tournament with and the heat that they're bringing, it just makes me so excited for the year of 2024 Valorant. And we hope that you're just as excited as we are. Yeah, thank you so much. It's been IQ Noob along here with Becky Bear at the Knights Arena Valorant north american challengers we hope you have enjoyed the content don't forget to follow on all platforms if you haven't already done so and keep up to date with what are uh, our next coming matches uh that is it for us tonight and we hope you have a good rest of your evening the game starts long before the game starts you get your gear right your keyboard your controller, your controllers, controllers, and the keys to your keyboard. Because warm hands are faster hands. Gain the upper hand and power up your pregame warm up with Zippo hand warmers.